Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we're going to be diving into Franklin Graham announcing his support of a Mike Pence presidential campaign run for 2024. Now, this is interesting news because the way I would I would characterize Franklin Graham's approach to Donald Trump as sycophantic, and that's the academic and polite way to say it. Uh and with Trump as an announced candidate, the only major announced candidate in the race, this is pretty interesting that Franklin Graham appears to pass on Trump in definite favor of Mike Pence, but he seems to be a post-Trump kind of guy. So this is pretty interesting, to, in my opinion. Pretty sad also for the state of Big Eva people that aren't very good at navigating politics, in my opinion. But hey, again, like I said, Franklin Graham has been pretty sycophantic. That's the polite way to put it in the past when it comes to Donald Trump. And that led to him temporarily endorsing a Paula White book. So before we watch the clip, uh, don't forget to like the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want to really help us out, we have a Patreon-like system built into the website that it built evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join. You can join the Evangelical Dark Web here. Otherwise, subscribe to the newsletter. All this is linked in the description below. So here's a clip of Mike Pence. It's at an event for the Billy Graham Library. And we're, we're just going to watch this part of the clip and not the whole thing. I'm not a Republican. Um, I'm an independent. I've been an independent probably for about 20 years because... <laughs> so um, I'm just disappointed in politics in America. Uh, when you think of the, the divisions that we have, we need to be coming together mm. to try to solve the problems that we face as a nation. And there just seems to be so much division. And it's not just division, but there's almost um, a hatred that I haven't seen before in politics. And it, it's very disturbing to me. And uh, I think the only hope for this nation is God mm. and uh, to turn to him and to ask him for his wisdom. And that's, uh, that's my prayer, is that this nation will turn to God. And because uh, he's the only one who can lead us out of the problems that we were facing. Mr. Graham, do you have any reaction to former President Trump announcing his uh, re-election bid? Uh, I'm staying out of um, the Republican um, uh, uh, primary and debate and that sort of thing. I'm focusing on what God has called me to do, and that's to preach the gospel. I appreciate very much uh, former Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, there are a number of Republicans that uh, that uh, have the you know great leadership abilities, but uh, Vice President Pence has served this nation and he served it well, and and I hope that uh, his role in serving this nation is not finished. When you say not finished. Do you have any, any sort of I mean, it's up to him. He hasn't made any announcements. So, um, but what we're going to do here in just a minute is we're going to go inside and have some fried chicken. That's <laughs> so uh, the, the ending was pretty based with the fried chicken remark. Uh, Baptists love fried chicken. But Mike Pence was there. He was the guy behind uh, Franklin Graham. So he was invited there. I kind of have to suspect that because Mike Pence is clearly laying the groundwork for a national campaign, he's been endorsing people in primary elections all year long, uh, challenging Trump on multiple occasions. You have to wonder that, you know, this is a, it's a statement. He's trying to run for president. He's trying to test his sway of the Republican Party. The problem is Mike Pence is not an alpha male, and I think everybody sees that except for Franklin Graham, who actually thinks that Mike Pence has a good record of serving this country. But let's just do a quick recap on what Mike Pence's record actually is. Mike Pence's record is caving to the uh, rainbow jihad as governor of Indiana. Uh, that's about 2015. And that sunk his presidential aspirations. He was kind of, uh, he was heading into a tough reelect. But... Uh, Trump chose him as a VP candidate when not many people wanted to be Trump's VP because many people in the political sphere thought that Trump would lose. So not 
nobody was really lining up for that job, but Mike Pence got the nod. He did a good job in uh, the VP debate. Uh, he, he did a good job both times. And then as president, the main highlight of, vice, uh, 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 of Mike Pence as vice president of the United States was selling the country out to Rainbow Jihad. He just let Anthony Fauci run the task force and the show. Uh, Debbie Burks, he, you know, was basically in her pocket, in her purse. So he sold the country out, and you can read more about that with Scott Atlas's book, uh, A Plague on Our House, or I, I think is the title. So that's just something to highlight. Mike Pence is not a good politician. He sucks at politics. He just does. But he's played the game well enough to get where he's at now. But otherwise, when it comes to governing according to biblical principles, he has no real record to stand on aside from Trump's coattails. So it's ironic that he would lay the groundwork to challenge Trump nationally. Trump has announced early. This is early to be announcing. Uh, expect more announcements in the March, April, May, June time of next year. So with that said, I think it's interesting because, you know, Franklin Graham is not announcing exclusive support. That would be an endorsement. I did not say that he's endorsed Mike Pence in 2024, only that he's announced his support of Mike Pence in 2024. Now, there's a lot of undecided Republican voters, people weighing their options between, say, a Ron DeSantis or a Donald Trump 2024 bid. The number of people considering a Mike Pence bid is single digits percentage wise. I don't. And from the polling that I've seen thus far, and these are internal Republican polls, not national polls, the people's second choice is either Trump or DeSantis. That's the second choice of ma the vast majority of the uh, Republican electorate. So it's odd, but it's kind of expected of Big Eva types. And Franklin Graham is Big Eva. He is Big Eva. Uh, he, he runs in a different lane than uh, Tim Keller or even Al Mohler, but he is Big Eva nonetheless. And I don't think he's very good at politics. I just don't. Uh, very Boomer Con-ish. And it shows on issues like this. He thinks that, you know, the amount of division that we're seeing in this country is unprecedented. It's not unprecedented. I don't think it's, it, it's just revealed. It's just out in the open. It's always been there. It's been there for, you know, we've been saying the same things about the state of our country for over 10 years now. It's nothing's new. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. And we can't come together to solve a problem. This is just a feminine type of thinking. This is not how politics works. It's defeat your enemies and reward your friends. That's how politics is supposed to work. You're supposed to use the sword of government to punish evil and reward good. That That's the purpose of government, Romans 13 style. And Republicans, especially Mike Pence, has failed to use the sword of government in the past to punish evil and reward good. He has instead sold out to evil. He has instead rewarded evil. As, as he did selling out to the Rainbow Jihad as governor of Indiana and, you know, keeping Fauci around for how long. Uh, he's instead re rewarded evil, and that's his record as a politician. So, anyway, bad news bears for uh, Franklin Graham's credibility, but I digress. There's a lot of potentially good... 2024 matchups, but I don't think any of them are viable outside of Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. That's kind of the choice. Uh, no one else is viable, and I don't think the people the people outside of that that are the most viable, I'm not sure would challenge Trump. Uh, you know, so I don't think Nikki Haley or Mike Pompeo are all that viable either. So. With that said, that's all I got to say about that. My name is Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Otherwise, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about what I think in the comment section below, and I will catch you on the next one.